This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another fantastic Arc Aberration Tips video. Before we get into this, I gotta let you guys know that this series is sponsored by Host Havoc. Host Havoc for all your server hosting needs. If you're looking for a great server host, all the information you need for Host Havoc is in the description. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I can get to the tips. All right, so the first tip we're gonna take a look at today is your little light pet see these little guys right here and uh normally you got to go up to them and you got to like hold down the e button brings up the menu and you can pet them to turn the lights on and off and all that good stuff pardon the earthquake right now we're just gonna have to power on through it because i ain't waiting for this thing to be over anyway so you gotta go through all that trouble to get to your light pet and if they're on your shoulder you can't really you know turn them on and off you gotta throw them down well you think you need to throw them down and do that to turn them on and off uh, i like to leave mine on auto however if you would like a hotkey to turn them on and off there is one if you hold down your left Left or right bracket it brings up this radial menu for the emotes and there is an emote for it right here see that that emote for it you just click on it like that so let's see if we can swap that see I just added a bracket to it so you can uh, click that and there you go so now if I hit either my left or my right bracket you can see that I can turn the little guy on and off just with a hotkey pretty fancy huh and there is those should reset but for some reason it doesn't want to you can hold it down again to bring up the menu and then change it uh to other stuff so if we like put those the left and right bracket you can see now that it is gone from there and now if i hit those i'm going to do different emotes but if you want to change it back just hold down that uh bracket left or right bracket again and uh, then you can just highlight over it and click the left or right right bracket and that will bind it to it then just click in the center and there you go now you can uh, turn your light pet on and off without having to throw it down while it's on you whenever you want to. You don't see the clapping animation when you're in uh, first person like this. However, when you're in third person and everybody else around you sees the little clap animation. All right, so that was the first tip. On to the next. All right, the next tip is Ravengers get weight reductions on stuff. So I have a bunch of different things here. We're gonna pull all of them into my inventory here. And uh, you can see first off that uh, the crystal, we'll start with the crystal, it's uh, 1.5. We put it over there, it drops to 0 0.8, so they get a weight reduction on crystal. They do not get a reduction on pearls. Uh, we got fiber is at 12. If we put that over there, you can see that it has dropped down to six, so they get a weight reduction on that as well. Flint, oh, there we, Flint is at four. Go over here, you can see that uh, Flint does not get a weight reduction. You would think it would, but it doesn't. Uh, so then the gems, so we're gonna put the gem over there. You can see that it gets a weight reduction. Uh, Keratin does not, so it's a two there, still at two. Raw metal gets a weight reduction, five, 2.5, so that's at a half a weight reduction. Regular metal does not. Uh, obsidian gets a weight reduction, so it's a 2.5 drops down to 1.25 uh oil at 0.5 does not get a weight reduction pelt pelt does not get a weight reduction meat meat does not pearls silica pearls do not stone does thatch does and wood does now it seems to be a random grab bag of different stuff that these guys get a weight reduction on so uh, you may have to test different things, but it's something to keep in mind when you're riding one of these guys. These guys are really like the all-around greatest like uh, pets to have on this. But uh, yeah, so keep in mind that they do get a weight reduction when you're out gathering resources. If you're gathering by hand, maybe you have a uh, pet that does already have a weight reduction. Like I think the, the roll rats get one for wood, but uh, maybe you don't have one yet. So keep in mind that these guys are an option. Our next tip leads right into these guys. And that is when you're on a zip line like this, you can hold shift to, to sprint down them. And I'm sure you know that, but here's one uh, you may not know. You can actually hit C and you will turn upside down and hang. Uh, what this 
purpose of this is, I'm not 100% sure, but I just thought it was neat and I wanted to share it with you all that uh, they can flip upside down and you can also hold shift and slide down them like that. And if you hit the opposite direction, they do turn around. So he's going to sprint back up it. And uh, if we were to jump, he'll probably jump straight down. We're going to stay up above and jump back up here. All right, on to the next tip. Our next tip comes in the way of glow sticks. Many of you may not know, but you can dye your glow sticks different colors. All you have to do is have your dye and then you just drag and drop it onto the glow stick. So you can see here that this one's green, drag, drop it, now it's blue. Drag green, drop it, now it's green. So you can change the color of your glow sticks and it changes the lighting as well. So it would grab this one here and we have a blue one. You can see when you're holding it, it is blue. And if we throw it, it should cast a blue light. You can see there's like a blue tint down there. See the difference? So another really neat thing about this is, is you don't have to keep wasting dye. If you have one glow stick and you add other glow sticks to it, they take on that color. So I'm gonna separate these here. So you can see we have four green ones right now. And then if I add that one to it, now we have five green ones. Same thing with white. Now you can see that we have seven. So you can you could do this the other way around. If I wanted to, I could continuously separate those and then until we get one and then I have the four here and then I can add them to blue and now I have blue and it just works that way all the way around so you can just keep swapping the different colors and uh, you never have to continuously dye. So as long as you just save one glow stick, you don't have to keep making dye and you can keep the color of glow stick you want. And uh, from what I've tested, they all hold this, the color. So if we throw this green one down there, you can see that it's made a green color. And if we throw this, oh, I just stacked my white ones. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. You can see that uh, it works even in your hot bar. So let's change this back to white now. Uh, if I throw a white one down there, let's throw one over there. You can see that it makes a nice bright white light. So yeah, you can do different cool stuff with those. You can, um, I don't know, throw a glow stick party, whatever you want to do. Uh, the white ones don't look too white in your hand, but I think it's cool how they also show up in your hand, that color. Make sure we un undo theirs there and then you get oh the blue one did not let's see if we unequip it there it is now it is it uh, i still had a white one so yeah really neat little trick there with the glow sticks all right on to our next tip our next tip comes in the way of mushrooms these mushrooms here are interchangeable with narco berries so if we transfer those over there you can see that i have uh spoiled meat transfer those over and you can see that it says I have 200 narco berry even though I do not so that's really handy because these are pretty easy to get early game much easier to get in abundance than the stem berries so really cool that you can interchange these and use these I did not know this till just recently and I've been playing aberration for for a little bit now and I I did not know that till I noticed it by accident so yeah I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that one now you would think that to consider in the um, description of these that you would also be able to use these in the simulant recipe however you cannot they do not work which is a little disappointing i feel like if these are invigorating and uh they and they give you a little bit of energy then these sure uh and these give you torpor that these should give you the ability to make stimulant but uh that's a no-go all right, that is all the tips I have for you today. If you enjoy these tips, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell and all that good stuff so you can be notified when I put out more of these videos. I'm going to keep turning them out as long as you all keep watching them because uh, you guys seem to really enjoy these tips videos. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.